They swept through cities and kingdoms, riding their dead horses, hunting with their packs of pale spiders, big as hounds. Hey everybody, it's Charlie. You may have just heard that HBO confirmed what's going on with the Game of Thrones prequel. Just one of them, they're getting ready to film one of the pilots. Now there are five that are in development, but we found out what the first one is going to be. And some of you may have already predicted it, but they have a big plot synopsis, which pretty much tells us exactly what's going on. So if you're finding me for the first time, be sure to subscribe to get all the Game of Thrones videos. Obviously, I'll be doing spin-off videos, mostly season eight stuff dropping this summer. There's a new round of that 4K DVD giveaway. They have 4K prints of the season one DVD too. So just to read the plot synopsis for the prequel here, it says the series is described as chronicling the world's descent from the golden age of heroes into its darkest hour. And only one thing is for sure from the horrifying secrets of Westeros' history to the origin of the White Walkers, the mysteries of the East to the Starks of legend. It's not the story we think we know. So effectively, they're doing the transition from the Age of Heroes to the first long night, like spiders big as hounds. They're actually doing ice spiders as big as hounds. So there's this awesome video of old Nan telling her tale of the long night that tells you exactly what this series is going to be about. So I cut that with the flashback to the origin of the Night King because it basically sounds like we're building to the origin of the Night King on this series. And I'll explain the timeline in a second, but here's that video. Oh, my sweet summer child, what do you know about fear? Fear is for the winter, when the snows fall a hundred feet deep. Fear is for the long night, when the sun hides for years and children are born and live and die, all in darkness. That is the time for fear, my little lord, when the white walkers move through the woods. Thousands of years ago, there came a night that lasted a generation. Kings froze to death in their castles, same as the shepherds in their huts. And women smothered their babies rather than see them starve, and wept, and felt the tears freeze on their cheeks. So is this the sort of story that you like? In that darkness, the White Walkers came for the first time. They swept through cities and kingdoms, riding their dead horses, hunting with their packs of pale spiders, big as hounds. I love the way Old Nan poses that question to Bran. Is that the kind of story that you want? One of the scary ones. And it becomes super meta because they're doing that for the prequel. But this is one of the prequels that George R. Martin has been working on himself with Jane Goldman. So she's the other person that's been developing this. And remember, it's just one of five. But HBO ordered it to pilot, meaning they're going to start filming it soon and we'll have an idea for what it's going to look like. And now, you know, we know Age of Heroes transitioned to Long Night. We know what the timeline is going to be. And here's sort of the cliff notes on the timeline of ancient history as per the TV show and the books. So there are a couple of differences in how long ago things happened, so I'll try to explain. Within the TV show, The Three-Eyed Raven says that the Long Night happened about a thousand years ago. It lasted for what they call a generation, which is like tens of years, less than a hundred years. In the books, it's between six and eight thousand years ago. So also coinciding with that is the rise of the Valyrian Freehold. See what they did there. So, you know, we wanted them to do an ancient Valyria prequel series. It sounds like they're doing that with this. Because once you go back past a couple thousand years, time periods get really ambiguous. So, like, obviously, the rise of the Valyrian Freehold wasn't happening at exactly the same time as the first Long Night. But it sounds like they'll compress that on the TV show. So you'll see both of those things happen. So in the way that the main show started off during season one with all the Starks and everybody in Westeros and then Daenerys over in the east, you have like two different continents. It sounds like that's what this prequel show is going to bounce back and forth between. There are a lot of myths about how they stopped the first long night. It was a union between the men and the children of the forest. Obviously, we know that the children of the forest created the Night King in the White Walkers. But it sounds like we might get to see a version of the war with the first men because it sounds like they're chronicling the transition into Westeros' darkest history. So I wouldn't call it a long night series. I would call it an Age of Heroes series that sort of begins the long night. But we all know the myth of how they ended the Long Night. We don't know if that's how the series is going to end or if it's going to end with the creation of the Night King. And it's going to be like, oh, everybody's screwed, like, and it'll just dip to black like the Sopranos. Or if it's going to be more like the main show 
which sounds like they defeat the Night King, Westeros lays in ruins, but they've averted a second long night because that's the whole goal of the show right now. Obviously, it was all about the Iron Throne for the first couple of seasons, but now it's about stopping the second long night. So obviously, we know the first long night ended up happening, so that could happen somewhere in the middle of the series. So I think they're just going to try to find a way to do those events without making it seem like a retread of the things that we've done before. But if you've been following the production on season eight, they've actually been building out the King's Landing set at their Titanic studios. They call that the paint hall because they expect that they'll be filming some of the scenes at the prequel series there. Now, obviously there are five, so they're gonna be set during different time periods, but you can redress certain sets to make them look like different castles because the Red Keep and King's Landing didn't exist during the Age of Heroes. Like it was all just divided up into the seven different kingdoms of Westeros. But because this is the Age of Heroes during this series, we might get to see some of the people that started some of the major houses. And obviously the Night King is supposed to be a Stark of Winterfell. That's still a myth right now, unconfirmed, but there's a lot of strong evidence to support that. So we might get to see his life at Winterfell before he was turned into the Night King. But during the Age of Heroes, you have characters like Bran the Builder. I know there are a lot of theories about Bran on the TV show right now being all the brands. That's like a kind of a separate thing. We can talk about that as we learn more about the prequels. Artist Aaron, the person that started House Aaron, the Grey King, first ruler of the Ironborn, Lan the Clever, person who started House Lannister, Garth Greenhand, first ruler of the Reach, Durin God's Grief, first ruler of the Stormlands. The timeline for when a lot of those people were alive is really fuzzy, but just because of the way they can compress time on the TV show, we might meet some of them on the prequel series. The first High King of Westeros was supposed to be Garth Greenhand, but the plot synopsis on the press release says it's not the story we think we know. So it sounds like George R. Martin is going to be providing a lot of more concrete details about what actually happened there and giving them a blueprint for how to plan this series out. Remember the story about how he told Dan and Dave in a special conversation what his end for Game of Thrones was and where he was taking the characters? And then obviously they changed a lot of things from the books, but he gave him a blueprint for where he was headed. So the thing about this prequel series is that a lot of that history is nebulous, so they're not stepping on the toes of stuff that George R. R. Martin is going to be writing in the future. So there's no real threat of them passing book plot. And most of what we know about that period is all myth and conjecture. It's like other people like old Nan telling stories. So just let me know what you think about this, remembering that it's only one of the five prequels. So obviously the others will take place during different time periods, feature different characters. Some of it will probably cover the Fire and Blood book that George R. R. Martin is releasing later this year. Leave all your bonus video requests in the comments below. Congratulations to Dead Rays, you're the latest giveaway winner. Please private message me so I can get your contact details. Click here for that season eight teaser and click here for all my other season eight videos. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody stay awesome. I'll see you guys tonight.